Hi, everybody. I hope you can hear us. Um, well, it helps if I plug the mic in, maybe, right? Well, we had some bad uh, internet problems here, so we're sorry about that. Not even sure if you can. But um, let us know, and we will fix it. We don't have audio either because, hi, Rena. Let me know if you can hear us, okay? Anyway, right behind me here is, um, well, Jane. She's the founder and director of the Indy Great Pyrenees Rescue, and I'm in the way. And um, actually, I'm going to get out of the way. And this is who? This is Shayla. Wait a minute. They can't hear you. Hang on a second. We're not even sure they can hear me. You know that. Okay. Try again. Okay. This is Shayla. Shayla's four years old, and she was given that because her... Owners were losing their home and had nowhere to take her. So we got her from a local animal shelter here in Indianapolis. She's very sweet. She just went hey, on an that. overnight. On. Excuse me one second. Move that thing over here so I can. This thing is a very heavy microphone. Oh, jeez. All right. Now let's do it. All right. So, so anyway, they got that first one. So Shayla is looking for a home. She would... Uh, she does well with other dogs. She spent the weekend with a male Pyrenees and a little um, chai weenie. So uh, she was fine with them. She likes going for walks. She rides well in the car. And uh, she's just a, a nice girl. All right. Now, uh, is she available right she's now available. for adoption? She is available for adoption. Okay. I bet I know where you can go to adopt her. Uh, probably to IGPR.org. That's right. You can read all about her on IGPR.org. That's right. Whew, boy, we're really, really sorry. We were thinking everything. And um, finally, we found that there must be a conflict. But anyway, um, so our, our stuff is going to be a little free. There you go. So now, how about we do this? Bring this here, and we switch it this way. Then we can talk to Brenda and Andy. Yeah, we're still too far away. We're, I'm a rookie, okay, everybody? I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, now, do we have another dog to bring out? We have Andy. Come on, Andy's visiting us. We have his foster mom. Come on, Andy. And, and you know what? Guess what? I got to meet Andy. All right, so we're gonna the beautiful Andy. We got something really cool, and I'm gonna get up there. Here's what I'm gonna do. You come sit. That's what we'll do. I have two cameras, but we're gonna do it this way. Andy. All right. Brenda, and everybody should remember. No, we muted it. How about now? Okay. Sorry, everybody. Uh, how much did you? How much did we miss? That's all right. When I moved the mic, I muted. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we have Andy here. So anyway, Andy, because I got to meet him. Mm, there we go. I just got. Oh, now how I can you not kisses. love this dog? Huh? So I just got kisses. So He's, I IGPR. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna tell him a little bit about Andy. He's Good. about two years old. He is house trained. He is obviously very laid back. He does like to play with our other dogs, which we have a two-year-old golden retriever cry mix, and then we have a husky mix. And we haven't God, I can't even remember all my own dogs. <laughs> we just have a lot of dogs and he does well with them. Hey, come here. 
You're off camera. Come on. Well, let's fix it. Come here. We're going to fix him right up here. Good. We're going to add him onto a camera. Okay. There's Andy. <laughs> he still doesn't want to look at you. There you are. Andy's gone. Yeah. Hi, oh. boy. We had about an hour and a half trip to get here to the rescue. So he's a little tired. He normally rides very well, though. Yeah, he was nervous today. He's obviously camera shy today. He doesn't want to be on the camera. On our way here, we stopped at Lowe's and we went inside and he did well with everyone he met in the store. We went into Home Depot and he was well and did well with everyone he met. Walked nicely. Yeah, I mean, this, this boy is just perfect. Yeah, except he doesn't want to be on camera. Just, Trust me, though, he's right. a very beautiful so boy. So that will mean we won't ask you for a half an adoption certificate. Yeah. <laughs> right, if you adopt him. So, seriously, I don't know why this boy's still here. Um, but He does well with cats, yep. Oh, oh, that's right. Cats, and if you have another dog, you're gonna, he's going to be just fine. He likes to play with the other dog. And what's your other dog's name, Tucker? We have Tucker. Tucker. Tucker Golden likes to be bathing. Him even. Yep. Mix. We have Lita. Lita. She's a smaller, great fry mix. How many dogs do you have total? We have three dogs total, plus How Andy is our foster. There? And then my son has two, so a total of six. Because I was going to no. say, I saw more pictures than just three. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, are we done? Yeah, Brenda, thank you. No problem. James, uh, coming up here with another dog. Come here. Come on. And before Shane gets in there, I'm going to try to reach outside with this camera. So. So come on in, Jane. We're going to try to get you a view of the outside. Oh, right. Sam. Sam. Come here. We got Jane yeah. Take him out. Come on. Yeah, let's go up there. Come on. Let's try to save the camera. Come here, Sam. Hi. This is Samson. Hi, Samson. Wow. Let me get out of. I got right in the way. Oh, I got to give you a microphone, don't I? No. Oh, I don't? <laughs> I have a funny feeling I do. So, there you go. That's all you get. So, Samson has been with us a little over a year. He is um, seven years old. He was surrendered because uh, he was overly protective with his at his owner's property. And... Uh, by that I mean he didn't like the UPS man or the mailman coming. Likes his ears rubbed. Likes his ears rubbed. He's very loving. He loves to cuddle. He loves to snuggle. He'll lay on the sofa with you. He walks great on a leash. He rides great in a car. He is, however, a champion fence jumper. So oh. he needs a six-foot fence because he can sail over a four-foot fence like nobody's business. We have other dogs out there. He lived with a cat and a female Pyrenees for a few months in a foster home. And uh, he was great with them. Never bothered anybody, the cat. He is protective of his home. So if you are somebody who has a quiet home, don't have a lot of visitors. Or don't want a lot of visitors. Or don't want a lot of visitors, Sam is the man. He's totally housebroken and uh, doesn't have to be crated when you're gone. He's just a big love bug. He, uh, you can take him out in public and do all those kinds of things with him. But uh, as far as if you're somebody who likes to entertain and have a lot of family members over and things like that, he's probably not the dog for you. Now, we're going to give you an opportunity to see what Samson's looking at, right? Um, and Because I'm curious, too, what's going on out there. Ah, we're, we're pointing into the sun. Uh-oh. So nothing going on out there. So... You gonna swap him out? Oh, okay. Well, you won't go see it. So. So let's bring uh, let's bring our guest in from Michigan. Okay. Yes, let's do that. Let's bring out. Uh, so we're gonna swap them out. There we go. Okay, Deborah wants uh, Andy. Oh, I'm sorry, Deborah. You lost your dog. Um. Well, you go to. IGPR.org and um, um, fill out the application. So I'm not sure where you are, but um, he's in Indiana, Indianapolis. So, but 
So they're gonna bring, we're gonna bring in our Murphy boy. Hey, so can you go get Murphy? That, that's Andy. Thank you. Like I said, this is a free for all today because uh, we didn't have internet. We didn't get any testing. We worked the entire time on internet. So, but anyway, now she says I'm frozen. Wouldn't surprise me. I don't know what to say. But we're going to continue on just in case it's only for her. Oh, boy. All right. Come on around here, Steve. We got our special guest that just drove four hours to get here. Um, there, you are, there you are. I found you. So let me get the camera on the on the big boy here. Who you got there, Steve? This is Murphy. Ah. The Murphy boy. Okay. Hey, let's move to, let's get you there. I'm going to put this here. Okay. And angle it towards you. And hi, Murph. Sit Murphy's down. a little stressed right now. He's just smelling everything. Yeah, we're, we're too far away from her. Okay. So, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll talk for a second while you try to get a position. Murphy, uh, you adopted Murphy when? We adopted him in April, early April of this year. Okay, so you're ready. He, he I'm going to put a rescue. Back. Okay. <laughs> and just so, we're just so proud of him. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, here we go. We're so proud of Murphy. Yeah. He, he's been a good boy for us. Yeah, we're sorry for the confusion, right. folks, but we got a little busy here. I did get some dogs assessed, though. And surprisingly, uh, surprising results so far. So how do you like your boy? I, he is very gentle with us. He's, he's, he doesn't like loud cars going down the road. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't like any cars going he, down the road. He, he barks at them and... But, you know, our grandsons, are, he's really good with our grandsons, our, our eight- and nine-year-old grandson. Uh, he's settled into home really well. Really Looks well. like you just bathed him, but I, I found out you didn't. Well, we've been, we brush him. He's gorgeous. Yeah, he's, he's a good-looking boy. He wants to, wants to smell your microphone. Now, with Murphy, now, he's a little different. Uh, you got to go to findanotherdog.com because he has a dad and mom. Oh boy, he's been adopted. Yeah, uh, he's yeah, he's he's not he's not going anywhere. He's with yeah. us. He's a big one. So now you have another dog also, right? We have Misty. Well, Misty is home. We left her home today, so we give her a break. She didn't have to give travel. Give her a break from Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> I bet she missed. I bet she misses Murphy. Oh, you know she does. Yeah. So, wow. Murphy, you want to, you can turn around right. and look at the camera. Yeah, come here, big boy. Come on. Hey, look at me. There we go. And he wears his drill well and so do I. He likes to shower. All right. He likes to shower. Steve, thank you for coming all the way down here. I got to meet, I got to meet Murphy. And he's everything I thought he would be. All right, so we're gonna rotate him out of the mix because right. we got a, we got one sitting here waiting. All right, we do. All right. So now, just so you know, we're gonna try to get you to meet as many of the dogs as you can. Okay? We're we're here in Indi at, in Indianapolis at Indy Great Pyrenees Rescue. We're live, obviously, because it took us a while. We weren't live. We'd be. Almost over by now. <laughs> really? But instead, we're just getting to have a fun around, day started Reg. here. Come around here, big boy. So who do you have there? I have Reggie. Reggie. Oh, Reggie's about two years old. He was, uh, he may be 18 months. He may oh. not be two yet. No, no bite slide? No. Not, he's not going to bite me? No. We know blooper reel this year <laughs> so far. And Reggie was thrown out of a car and dumped in the country, and somebody saw him do it. I saw he was on Facebook. I read that. Yeah, and uh, it's a small town, so everybody knows who did it. But uh, we don't know why they did it. No. But he's a nice boy. He'd probably be great as a single dog. He can be a little food protective. So you need somebody that's familiar with that, knows how to work with it. So basically, he can be a great parent. Yes, yeah, sit down. <coughs> good boy. Sit, good pup. That's a good want to. He's see a little that. stressed up here. In the lobby, and that's not a. And the front door is open, so nobody wants to go out the front door. A lot of guests out there. Yes, he's very nosy. Apparently, it's the busiest day of the week. 
candy grab the at the bed and biscuit kibble. Bed and biscuit kibble. Everybody's picking their pups up. So, yeah, this is Reggie. Very nice boy. Yeah. House trained. The one I want to see is, I want to see that one. How about Emma? Is she available? Who's that? I mean, is he available? He is available. All these dogs are available. But we're also going to have some up that maybe not be listed yet. We do. We're going to have Sasha and Coco. Ah, Coco cool. Chanel and Sasha. What about... I just got to ask, what about Mr. Bane? Can he get, can he come up? He can. Caleb, okay, well, you want to bring Bane up? Yeah. We want to take her back or him back? Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to get bit. Yeah, because I, I can't tell this between boy and girl. He and the. Uh, Let's not do that. So we there we go. Up. Thank you. Whew. Yeah. Should have used our lapel mics. That's right. So about Next 20, time. 20 dogs here. We're going to redo this show. Um, we are. <laughs> um, John wants to know your husband if uh, he does good with kids. Don't know. Don't know. I would say based on his food protectiveness, I'd say older children. Okay. Maybe in their teens. Uh, we don't adopt two families with children under six. Unless you're adopting Reggie. I mean uh, Andy. Right, because. Uh, Pyrenees are big dogs, and we get a lot of pushback on this, but any, all the Pyrenees rescues out there pretty much abide by this same uh, requirement. They are big dogs. They will knock little kids over. They are guard dogs. So when they see something at the window and your kid is standing there in the middle of the room, they may mow them over to get to the window. I'm not sure they can hear you. Don't start them. Okay, so they may mow them over to get to the window. So we have that, and we have had dogs return before because uh, parents are too trusting of the dog with the child, do not supervise them properly. And if the kid, here comes, there's your boy, here's your big boy, Bane. Come here, Bane. He's also listening. Bane, Zane. <laughs> well, okay, I'm sorry. He's listed, or he's going to be, or is he listed? Okay, he's listed as Zane. But his real name was Bane. His name was Bane. Bane turned around. So Zane is how you look at him. Yeah. And this boy is a good boy. Bad news is the behavior knows him. Good news is there wasn't anything wrong. Sorry. So, so. Bane, um, what I was saying about the children is that we have people who may not be watching their child. They have a toddler. Oh he falls on the dog, the dog reacts, and then all of a sudden they want to return the dog. Yeah. Or the kid walks near the dog's food bowl. We need an overhead boom. Here, pull that over here. Yeah, with, with a Caleb manning it. Yeah. Now we yeah. got to find a Caleb. Now we need a Caleb. So anyway, that is why we do, do not adopt these large dogs to households under six. Bane was uh, with a family that had kids. He's about four years old. He was, uh, they had to, they lost their home and had to move in with family. The family already had three dogs. They didn't want four. So the family found it. Sure the Great Pyrenees has to go. The Pyrenees had to go. Um, they found a home for Bane. However, it was not the best home. One of them, yeah, right there. No, nope, one of those, yeah. I got to test something with Bane. Okay. So Bane, uh, Went to live watch, with the. Watch close, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky brought some dog treats, and we've been teasing her all day because one of the, the dogs will eat them. Tip of the day, one out of twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Fromm. <laughs> Sorry, oh, these are Fromm treats. Usually, Fromm is really good, but yeah. the the Pyrenees do not like the crunchy O's. Oh, uh, sorry, 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 Vicky. <laughs> but anyway, Bane was in a bad situation because uh, he, uh, the family he went to live with, he didn't like the teenage son. Uh, they ended up making him an outside dog. The neighbor didn't like him, shooting at him. So they took him to a shelter. And uh, because of the way he reacted there, they thought he didn't like men. And as you can see, he's ready to eat Steve. Yeah, he's, both of Steve's right yeah, here. He likes Steve's. Steve yeah, door. so he likes Steve's. What well, he hasn't met Bane yet. No, he hasn't. No, you he can hasn't. come meet Bane. Yeah. But uh he uh 
Hey, come over here, Steve. Let's see if we can get a bite live on TV. Sure. <laughs> Just don't touch it. Yeah. See, yeah. see his tail's wagging off. Now. Yeah, I see that. So yeah. So um, it, now we, we're watching the first introduction live, and I'm all the way here. He can. Yeah, it seems shoulder, he can care body. less. So the men at the shelter thought Bane was going to eat them. So they had him all kenneled up with a big caution tape on his kennel. And I went in there. Oh, and, yeah, that's right. And I said, there's nothing wrong with this dog. I just barely met him today. And I put a leash on him and let him out. And we shared a nice cream cone. And he's been my boy ever since. Yes, he was on trial with the family, but it just didn't work out. So let him finish this, Steve. Well, oh, don't, don't, hey, Bane. See now, now he's got a full wag, and look, he looks silly with that trim. <laughs> Did you Somebody get trimming? He got a little trim, trim. He had a little mat. Wow. We have a volunteer Who groomer. Are we bringing up next. Let's bring up Sasha. Sasha. Let's bring Sasha up. You Sasha's trade? not listed yet. Right, you guys get a sneak peek. Come on, Dane. Let's go back. No, I want to be back. I want to there be part go. of the show. There you go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm okay. Um. Well, everybody, I guess. Um, if you adopt him, you're going to have a superstar. That's right. So if you want, if you're interested in Bane, I would suggest that oh. you are an adult only home. Um, he's a very fine dog. Uh, we haven't seen any problems with him since he's been back in rescue with us. But as with any dog, you want to make sure that you are doing the proper training with them so that you both are speaking the same language and understand the same commands. Uh, it's difficult when you're giving commands your dog doesn't understand. And it's also difficult when your dog's telling you things and you don't understand. Uh, we, we ran into that today, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Well, I want to bring him up so bad, but we don't know for sure. But you see, certain things that if, if, if a dog has medical problems and no quality of life and medical can't be treated, then you have a decision to make. And uh, rescues don't like to make that decision, right? That's right. Okay, we so. want to do everything we can to save the dog. Yeah. So our job is to put them in the best place they can be. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that dog in, in question, one of the reasons I'm here today is Jane asked me to come over and assess a couple of dogs. One of the dogs is Moon. Okay. And um, and that boy was, he's, he was labeled a nut job, wasn't he? They were wondering if he had neurological issues. Um, and what I saw was something a little bit queen. different. Hmm? Here comes the beauty queen. Okay, we'll go back to him. We cannot take this away. Right. There's no takeaway on this one. This is Miss wow. Sasha. And you just she check her out. It's a great Pyrenees mix, obviously. Sasha, could you turn around, please? Sasha's only been with us a week. She was found as a stray up in uh, northern Hamilton County, which is the county that our uh, kennel was located in. But isn't she stunning with her beautiful markings? We think she might be part Malamute uh, and uh, Pyrenees. But, uh, Deborah uh, has a question. Okay. Going back to the previous dog, is Bane good with other dogs? It depends on your dog, I think. Yeah, I would say it depends on your dog. Um, I think with that, with Bane, wouldn't it be better, like, maybe do introductions here and see how it goes? Yeah, a female dog would be the best fit with Bane. He wants to be the big man on campus, so he would and prefer. Pam. Yep, they haven't told him that the females have always been. Yeah. He didn't know that, but he, we'll just let him know think. Nobody's telling him, so don't yeah. you guys tell him either. <laughs> but Miss Sasha was running loose. They couldn't catch her, and then. She went in somebody's yard, oh. and that's how she got caught. And she's such a friendly, beautiful girl. You can so, see this face head on. Oh, oh she is stunning. The camera so, does her real justice. If you like Pyrenees mixes, she's probably one of the prettiest ones that we've seen in a long time. Just because she's so gorgeous. Gorgeous coat, and uh, seems to be very sweet and gentle. Gets along with the other dogs here. And... Uh, Hasn't jumped our foot, four foot fence uh, area. Yeah. So she doesn't seem to be a fence jumper. So we don't know how she ended up in her predicament, but she, she went to the shelter and nobody reclaimed her. So how do you not reclaim a beautiful pup like this? We'll never have that answer, right? No. 
We don't know how old she is. We're guessing she could be anywhere from two to four years old. Yeah. Uh, but she's uh, for her first week here, she's done great. She uh, needs to be spayed. The vet couldn't tell if she'd been spayed yet or not. But, uh, you know, we will adopt them out. And then uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll get them a, an appointment to get spayed because the spay needer clinics are really backed up right now. So she didn't hear the Bane's answer on the other dog. They, they said female dogs. And if you're in Indiana, anywhere near Annapolis, it would probably be best to come meeting with your dog. Right. right. So the uh, application process is we ask you to complete the application before uh, we set up a meet and greet because we can do a lot of screening from that and figure out if it's going to be a good fit just from your response on the uh, the answers there. So, uh, but if it all looks good, then we're happy to set up a meet and greet with Bane and uh, the same with Sasha. And, uh, Absolutely. As so, you can tell, she's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. I mean, the camera does her no justice. Uh, when I got here, she just running around out there. And <laughs> they just let her roam around the contained area. Um, <laughs> so Drew has a question. Where do you live? Uh, well, we're in Indianapolis, Indiana. This is Indy Great Pyrenees Rescue. Right. And, um, we do not ship our dogs, so you do need to be within driving distance. Right. And uh, because we uh, require you to, to bring the dog back to us, if it doesn't work out, you do need to take that into consideration. So you might want to live a little closer. Close would be better. Yeah. Plus, you can meet the dogs that way and meet the wonderful staff. Yes. And, uh, it's just, it's a nice place here. Boy, they... Uh, the happy dogs. Yeah. So, anyway. Who's right. next? Let's bring no, um, Sylvia. Sylvia, so. bring Sylvia up. Okay, so now in the meantime, um, um, we'll talk a little more about Mr. Moon. Yes. So what was happening here when I assessed, um, she's in Cedar Lake, Indiana. Cedar I don't, Lake, Indiana, great. I don't know where that is. I think that's up north. Be because I live in Ohio. Yeah, I think that's up north. I, I, log I missed my turn going home, so here I am, right? Um, we have a kennel for him. Yeah, yeah, I get sleep with the dogs. <laughs> anyway, Moon, um, she she actually specifically wanted me to meet Moon, meet Moon and uh, and give my opinion of what I thought. And my opinion was they didn't really have an opinion. They didn't. They weren't sure what was going on. So, um, if you guys uh, have a litter of puppies accidentally, make no mistake. If you spay and neuter, there's no accidental litters. But anyway. Um, I'll say that I'm not part of these rescues. So spay and neuter your dogs, but I think everybody watching does. Um, well, if you're watching your puppies nurse off your mama and one of them's bullying the other one to the point they can't eat, that is something that is consistent with what Moon is doing. And he gets into this, he gets his food and goes into like a survival response eating it. And it is crazy isn't it it is very crazy but yeah. see there's good news to that there's no yeah. neurological issues there that's a trauma trigger and uh we've already saw improvement so she was shocked i was shocked all right yeah and all i did was made it exciting for him always remember that if it's not fun for the dog you're not teaching him anything because he's not going to listen anyway um Wow, that's the longest it's ever taken. How many dogs are here right now, listed and unlisted? Uh, I think there's about 23 at rescue right now. Wow. And there's probably 18 here. So we always need foster homes. Oh, you got quite a few out in fosters. Uh, uh, Bane is one in foster. We have uh, Andy. Bane's not in foster. I'm sorry. Bo uh, Boyd. Boyd is in foster. Boyd is we were hoping he was going to come today. Yeah. We'll have Mr. Boyd here Yeah. Today. We're just going to show him off. Yeah, he's handsome fellow. He's part Anatoly. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, and Andy and Boyd, and I can't remember the the one. Um, doesn't matter. There's quite a few dogs here, so we even have a puppy. We have a Labrador Pyrenees puppy who we'll bring out in a moment named Obi. John wants to know if there's any puppies, as a matter of fact. Yes, we do have one puppy. He's beautiful. He's four months old, and. Uh, he doesn't is that your husband? Yes, that's my husband. Okay, I was just making sure. <laughs> I think he wants to, he'd like 
LB, he did a home. LB is a great He garage. is. He but is he's black. black. He is black and he is smooth. So if you want the calmness of the Pyrenees and the less hair from a Labrador, then uh, less swoopy hair. He's a cute boy, and, uh, though. Yeah, he's the, he's the dog for you. He's the oh, you know what? What are, we, what are we doing? Perfect. Thank Sorry, you. everybody. Sorry, we're talking away and we're muted. The dog muted it, right? Yeah, it was the dog. Uh, anyway, we're going to meet Obi now, so. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Okay. Here's Obi. Here's the puppy. Here's Come here, Obi. This is Obi. <laughs> this is Obi. We got to protect her. Yes, so Obi is, like I said, four months old. Sweet as can be uh, with our puppies. We do ask that you do uh, puppy obedience. And have and, a sense of humor. Yes, and that you uh, have adult obedience. Also, as they get older, that you do a second obedience class. Uh, I don't know if you can see his cute little feet, but he has little white feet with black spots. That's the pyramid. Spot. Yeah. And uh, he's doing the pure paw. So what was his mom and dad? Dad was a Pyrenees. Mom was a black lab. Mom must have been the pack leader. Yeah, because look at this boy, the whole litter, it's none of gorgeous. them had, uh, none of them had long coats, so he's got a perfectly smooth coat, and uh, he's just as sweet as he can be. So if you're looking for a nice dog that you want to raise from a puppy, but you don't want all that Pyrenees hair, this is the boy for you. Yeah, and Rebecca and, uh, and Drew in California, there's another one for you. <laughs> hey, you only got two puppies now. <laughs> They're, he's a great puppy. He's got a great temperament. Gets along great with everybody. Uh, it's nice because the uh, the owners of the parents kept them together for uh, nine weeks, ten weeks until uh, they were uh, they brought us four. They had eleven, and uh, they found homes for seven, but not not four of them. So uh, I don't know why Obi's the last man out. There's nothing wrong with him. He's a great great dog. Here we go. It's a comment. Jeff loves great. Mine is chocolate lab. Awesome. Now you have one you guys can share. There you go. This is the perfect dog for somebody who wants uh one person wants a lab and the other person wants a peer. He, he's, I mean, he's good looking too. Yeah, he's a very nice boy. So very handsome. Anyway, now who's next? All right. So now is he listed? He is listed. Oh, yeah. Wow. With our puppies, we do uh ask that you uh you know, not spay or neuter them. He will not be neutered till he's 18 months old. We want him to get the benefit of his growth plates. And that is part of the adoption uh, requirement is that uh, you, you hold off on the neutering. We want them to last as long as they can. So he, uh, it's super dog. All right. So who do we, can we bring Coco? Yes, we can bring this Coco. Can we bring this Coco? Yeah. Caleb will get Coco up here. Coco's a new so girl, many. not listed. So many gorgeous dogs here. Yeah. Our sound's off again. Uh, oh, that was old comment. Sorry. <laughs> Rebecca is watching. I didn't know you were watching, Rebecca. <laughs> All right. Um, wow. I'm embarrassed. Why? I don't know. <laughs>
You've been um, peddling peers for a long time. Yeah, Rebecca's uh, got two GPRS, well, well, one GPRS puppy. The other one, um, uh, Appa, came from a shelter up there. And um, and Naga came from the Great Barrier Rescue Society. Very nice. And she's a, a handful, a puppy, and uh, they're doing a great, great job. So oh, it was worth it. Yeah. All is worth it in the end. Yes. So, um, good work, you guys. Um, what's this one say? Oh, you hike a lot. That would probably be the puppy. That would be the puppy because for you. Because you. you get to teach him, teach him, to him right? Yeah. Teach him things while you're, well, being able to sleep at night because you killed all the energy. Yeah, he would be a good one. He's got energy. So this pretty little girl, this is Coco Chanel. We named her Coco Chanel. The shelter named her Coco. And she was found as a stray. And um, she has uh, got a very pretty, pretty coat. Uh, she's working on growing it in. She's petite. She is very petite. She has some very fine characteristics. Okay, good deal. Somebody let go. <laughs> Oh, somebody let somebody, go. Somebody let go. And that's, and I, I'm glad we just brought that up. I want to interrupt for a second, okay? Drew wants a dog that he can take off leash. Mm. Well, Drew, it, okay, what, what do you call an off-leash pier? Gone. A disappear, too. Yeah, you cannot um, take this breed off leash. There's enough pier in that dog that you're never, just not going to want to do that. That no. would be the wrong breed for you. You would probably need a purebred lab or a German golden shepherd, retriever, so, yeah. maybe a shepherd, but this is not the breed for you yeah, if you want to do off leash. Not an off -leash dog. No, now, uh, they're going to hear people say, wait a minute, you know, I have my off leash. Yeah, until you don't. Right. It's and how do you know when don't is? And because don't could end in really bad results. Uh, you could end up with your dog being hit by a vehicle, they could attack a dog in the neighborhood. They could be attacked by a dog in the neighborhood. It's a no-win situation. The problem so. is they're hearing. They can hear a fly fart six yeah. blocks away. Yep. And they're going to go after it, see if the fly really farted. Okay. <laughs> now, we think Coco's about two years old. Coco's another stray. How many times today have you heard us say this dog was a stray and that dog was a stray? That's because people did not do their research before they got these dogs. And then they did not reclaim them from the shelters. Uh, the reason they are strays is because they don't have the appropriate fencing or they think they're an off-leash dog. And in that situation, you don't have any money to buy a leash. So please don't chew that. <coughs> <That's> <laughs> we, we uh, you know, you have to have these dogs on a leash. Yeah. Now, Coco is a fence jumper. Coco can go over a six-foot fence. That means the fence probably be a false sense of security, wouldn't it? Yes. So you would be willing to adopt her out to the home with no fence? With no fence as walk only if you have children over age 15 or 16. Because she's pretty hyper. Yeah, she's, she's a lot to, you know. Some energy yeah, there. she's still got a lot of puppy energy yeah. in her. Um, we, she may have been a farm dog because she had some muck on her feet. Well, she's got that coat. Too. Yeah, she's got the, you know, I eat crap coat. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, it's a gorgeous coat. Right? Yeah, it, it Just will be. It's different. It's not. The it will be a gorgeous know. coat. It's not currently gorgeous. It's very. The staff over here laughing at you. Yeah, very straw. I can't believe you're saying that to me. Yeah, it's true because, you know, obviously. You don't pull punches, right? People do not take care of their animals or they wouldn't be with me. <laughs> That's right. So, anyway, Coco. Um, I think she would be great if you have other dogs. She's good with other dogs, preferably a male. And uh, we don't know about cats yet. Um, but she I might, have a funny feeling she would chase a cat. She might chase a cat. Kayla she kind of has that look. Hey, get that leash out of your mouth, young lady. She but, likes to walk herself. Yes. Coco's, not, Coco's not listed yet. So yeah, she is one, okay, maybe one of our newer listings. Right. But that she's up and coming. And uh, they just don't know enough about her yet to be able to comfortably place her yet. Yeah, but okay. we're willing to try if you have an interest. I'd say she'd be a great walk-only dog, great companion. She likes to snuggle. Uh, you know. Um, how about? There's just too many dogs that you big ones. Yeah, can we bring? Can we? We have to bring one at a time though. I can't get one. 
If you want to bring them both up, okay, that's great. Them up. Boy, we got a super duper surprise this time. We do. We have two big girls that were found together, and boy, are they gorgeous. But again, they were strays and not reclaimed. Strange. And where do you see these two? That's going to make you wonder how could somebody not claim them? Yeah, because they're look beautiful them. girls. Yeah, man. Uh, We'd like to place them together just because they seem to be pretty yeah. bonded and we think they're sisters. So and that's, that is a good possibility that their eyes are very, very similar. Now, had it been me placing them, I would have not sold somebody two female puppies together. Yeah. By the way, you're going to get maybe meet somebody. Uh, I haven't had a chance to meet her yet. She's back there, so she may not this trip. But you remember Andy that was just here. His mom's here. Yes. Aunt B. Yeah, that's Queen B, right? Aunt B, Queen, she is Queen B. Yeah. She is very they, excited. They, they believe that she is Andy's mom. Emergency? I don't know. See, see. I want to see. Oh, you want to see the girls? Okay. We have an onlooker from outside who wants to see the girls coming up. Oh, the two. Oh, yeah. You're watching the show from out there. Yeah, the twins Perfect. are coming up. Oh, that must be Vicky. It is Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Come on in, Vicky. Introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah, Vicky, come on in. We got to meet uh, your husband. Say hi get to, to meet you. mom. Hi, I'm Vicky. We <laughs> drove four hours to come down here. So from Michigan today, when we got to see the beautiful Murphy. Well, that way they wanted uh, they wanted to change the scene, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So they wanted to meet you. Look Here they Look at this Holy big, cow. gorgeous girl. Yeah. You better hold my hand. I do. <laughs> See, this is the first time they saw me. All right, you got the leash. Caleb's got the leash. You got, the leash. Right. You got one. Right, so, one at a time. Right. So, Steve, how old do you think these girls are? Let me take a look. How about everybody tell us what you think on age? Okay? Let's look at their teeth. Okay. Oh, not bad. Not bad teeth. Let me see these I'm two. I'm gonna hurts. say I'm gonna say just now becoming adult. So you think two to three? Two to three. Yeah. yeah. That's what I think. But they are beautiful, beautiful, big girls. Oh, they must man. weigh at least 110 pounds each. Do, do you think they need to go together? We don't know yet because we don't know. we're still working on that. We would like for them to go together. Because they are best friends. They are. Yeah, okay. they are good. They are best friends. They are beautiful, beautiful girls. Yeah, last time they saw me, I had the uh, chain link uh, painted on me. Yes. Because that's not the all oh, they'll Did you get a kiss? Which one is this? I don't know. <laughs> they look so much alike. We, it's a good thing they're microchips. I'm glad I asked that because <laughs> the key to that is. Man, that's why they think they think they're sisters. Yeah, because they are my oh, 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 we have somebody who wants There's no a scene crasher. She, 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 she wants to use the phone. Yes. She wants to call home. She says, I need to call <laughs> home. See why they never came for me. Yes, that's the microphone. Do you she want to whip in there? The microphone and everything. Yes. She and says, so why not? Come she must here. have been a telephone operator in yeah, another life. Isn't she something? Look at her. Look at that head. Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous once girl. Again, All right, Steve. We got the leashes, okay? The second dog <laughs> out of all of these. <laughs> wow, you're on a roll, aren't you? I'm going to try this one. It's too bad for you. Vicky brought those strong streets in, everybody. Even her dog turned his nose Steve, look at the size of her oh, feet. I know, it's on my arm. Yeah. <laughs> These girls deceiving. have got big feet. Look, they might be younger than two or three. Yeah, maybe. if they were humans, they were women size she's 10. She's adorable. She is adorable. And they yeah. both have the badger the ears. Time, you're witnessing the first time they met me. Yeah, and one so, of them has, this one has a badger ear and a white ear. So the proper. That one have badger and white, two badger ears yeah. over there. So the proper introductions for these two dogs. Well, don't let them go off the leash. No, you'll but never see them again. They will love you to death. You just witnessed that. that. Have you even heard? Have you heard their voices yet? I have not heard them yeah. bark. Have you? Uh, usually, the girls are real deep. Okay, so you imagine. have heard their voices. Yes. Okay, how long have they been here? Uh, they've been here about a month. Okay, then they are listed, right? They are listed. They are waiting for their spay. They're on the spay ah, list. they're on a spay list. Yeah, right. they are on a spay list. This is this dog is what's what's her name? What's her name? We don't know. Nobody <laughs> knows. I believe that is Nelly. Okay, we think this is Nelly. Yeah. Okay, 
That's a possibility. Isn't that something? They look so, that's why they believe they could be siblings. Yeah. Now, they can go together because they're already old enough. Okay. Yeah, they obviously don't have an issue being yeah. in each other's space. And they're not totally reliant on each other right. either. They're actually reliant more on human than they are themselves. Beautiful girls. Yes. So the bond, we don't know if they're a bonded pair. And but here's the problem. If they if we're just even suspicious, then they pretty much have to stay together. Right. We know they're best friends. Now, do you? Let me ask you this: If they if they adopt a bonded pair, is that a special rate on the on the fee? It is. We take a hundred dollars off. There you go. So there you save a hundred dollars. The adoption fee is normally three fifty, and, and it'd be six hundred per two yeah. rather than seven hundred. Right. Now, usually a bonded pair is are easier than a, any one dollar. Yes. Usually. Yes. Now these two here, I think we would have that case. Yeah, I mean, they are just gorgeous. Well, gorgeous okay. girls. Let's see if we have any comments about them. Um, no, shake it off, girl. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, so, all right. All right, so we got Ooh. one more dog we want to talk about today. Okay. We're going to talk about Sylvie. Sylvie, and Sylvie. I don't know that much. Can we bring her up or not? Yes, we'll bring her up. Okay. Is she back from her walk? Um, now it might be time to catch her. Yeah, I don't have any more. See, they want my treats. Well, then you should leave them. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Um, I know I to leave them. Um, uh, Vicky's very happy. She's got a dog over there. I'm going to leave her treats today. <laughs> I only tried about 20. <laughs> See that big smile on Vicky's face? A dog ate her treat. Yes, we've tried to offer it to oh, many dogs. Always remember when you get your, your reward treats for your dog, make sure it's them that like them. Okay, not you. So. And make sure they're made in America, not in a foreign country. Because they do put a lot of chemicals on their yes, uh, treats from foreign countries. And uh, and make sure that, see, the foreign countries, will some, you'll find xylitol in them. You the will find xylitol, you'll find other chemicals in there that are bad and harmful. Xylitol is toxic, not bad. Yeah, toxic. it will kill them. Small amounts can hurt them. Yeah. And uh, contrary to popular belief, pig ears and rawhide are not good dog treats. They're not. Um, We've had dogs before, you know, they get choked on rawhide. It can get caught in their throat. It's hard for their stomach to digest. Then they can end up with an intestinal right. blockage, now, things like that. I'm starting to see different types of pig ears come about. They're, they're almost brittle and they break up. So I don't know. I don't have an answer on that. Now, um, Rebecca has, um, and we're in California, she, is, uh, she has a pig ear, but that's a training tool now. I st well, but the problem with the pig ears is they're made out of pork if they're a real pig ear. And dogs don't always digest uh, pork well. well. Yeah, pork is not yeah. a good uh, So, resource. Rebecca, I would suggest you try a different training treat. They have Bill Jack makes a nice little training treat. That's in a little thing, looks like a milk container we all had when we were back yeah. in grade school. Yeah, the Bill Jack, you can put that in the shuffle mat too. Yeah, and they're a nice moist dog training treat. Uh, Charlie Bears are also good training treats. They're little liver flavored round uh, treats, and they uh, you can <laughs> dispense a lot of them. They're liver based. Yeah. What about chicken? I would say treats? look and see where it's made from. If yeah. it's a U.S. product, I think it'd be okay. If it's something made in another country, I would not use it. And always remember, treats, different from food. There's not going to be that much nutritional value, so don't go hunting that down, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also use their regular kibble as treats. If you want to try to maintain well, their weight. Well, hold on. I'm going to argue with that. You don't like that idea? No. And I'll tell you why. Um, we've been noticing over time that some dogs, not all, but it's a crapshoot. If you use the kibble as the treat, now we're focusing more on food in the bowl. Right. If you ask them to sit, then you put the bowl down. You just made their food a reward. And that can unnecessarily raise the value of that food. And you take a chance that somewhere along the line, you can create a dog that's now reactive to the food. So we Here want to be careful with, that, with using food, any food as a reward. 
be a big okay. girl. So I'm not saying every dog's going to do it. You, oh my God, I, I, I made my dog sit put food down. Don't worry about it. All right. All right. So this is Sylvie. We do not know how old Sylvie is, but we're guessing she's probably oh, wait, wait. Come here, Sylvie. seven or eight. Hey, where's those treats at? Right in front of you. Uh, hey, if you, since you're on a roll here. Sylvia. Uh, All right, you got three I dogs, know. right? That ain't, wow. Both, record. Both of the twins. Out of 20. The twins ate it. Her, including her own dogs and her nose up there. What's the name? Sylvia. Try yeah. Sylvia. Let me try to speak. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, that, let's get that on video here. Okay, good stuff. I was going to be mad at us. <laughs> well, so if I were said, you, I would send a carefully worded email to from three out of twenty dogs in the body by these treats. No, it'd be seventeen out of twenty dogs in the body by treats. We have fun here, people. Anyway, Sylvie's a sad story. Sylvie has a very large tumor on her butt, and uh, we are working to get the tumor uh, under control. So hopefully, she can have surgery. But uh, as you can imagine, all this is very expensive. Um, our vet is doing a cutting edge uh, treatment on her that uh, involved uh, IVs and then using a, a machine called SantaWay, which is pretty new in the veterinary field to shrink the tumor so that surgery will be possible. And it's working it, so it, far. It, so far it's working. She's had two treatments and uh, the tumor appears to be shrinking. However, it's about this big. So, so it's got um, a ways to go. Do you have a special donation set up for her? We are going to set up a special donation page for Sylvie because her treatment's probably going to be about three to four thousand dollars. And uh, as you can see, she's just such a nice girl, and she could really use a foster home here in Indianapolis. Uh, her vet is on the north side up here in Westfield, so it would be you know somebody would foster her. It'd be nice if they could uh, take her to the vet for her appointments and things like that uh, until we can, you know, get her under control and hopefully adoptable. But if not, then she'll be a, a FOSFA situation. And, and medical fosters, are, man, that is a good job. Yeah, she's a precious, precious girl. She gets along with everybody. She's very nice. She's very calm. She's got she's a beautiful... Right now, but she's got beautiful eyes. Oh my God. Yes. And she's soft as velvet. And uh, we really hope that we can get this under control because uh, it's it's sad. She was found as a stray and uh, not reclaimed again and uh, came into the shelter with the tumor. So uh, obviously the owners knew it was there but had not done anything about it. So, and she looks like she gives kisses. She might be a kissy girl. So, if you can help Sylvie, please make a donation. And if you can give her a foster home where she can be under your care, she would be very appreciative rather than having to stay at the kennel. And what kind of home would that have to be? A foster, even? Well, you know, we would make exceptions uh, for that. Uh, we prefer it be a quiet home, just, you know, so she's not overly stressed while she's recuperating. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, she, like we said, she'd be okay with other dogs. She probably would be okay with cats because she's pretty laid back. Yeah, um, yeah. Pretty laid back girl. But you don't know for sure, right? We don't know about the cats for sure. But, so if you, you come know. visit her, bring your cat. No, you better not. <laughs> no, you think your cat will be mad. <laughs> cats are mad about everything. <laughs> But uh, look at that. We started having fun. She yeah, look smiling. at that beautiful, pure smile. So, I wish we could show bring that one out and let the boarding and smile. Like that. Oh, Miss Luna, yeah, the IGPR alumni. We can bring Luna up. She's All the best. Right. She has it, a this is amazing. What this she's girl. hilarious. That please, folks, if you could help us with Sylvie, she's so worth it, and she's just an adorable dog, she and she deserves a good life. Even if it's not a long one, she deserves yeah. a good life. Well, we had a, up in the, oh, at Great Pyrenees okay. Rescue, Montana. Um, they brought Bella in. We had her. Uh, we had her on a show, and um, somebody had commented that you know, kudos to you for bringing in a dog to die. And, and Erica said, "I didn't bring a dog in to die. I brought the dog in to live the rest of her life out right. in in, right. in happiness." And let me tell you. 
you show the dog a life that they never even knew existed. That's right. Okay. Even though your time with them may not be long. Uh, and Are they, yeah, Andy leaving? Yeah. Andy's leaving. I'll be right back. Andy's leaving. You're going to get away from me like that. So the dog that's coming up is named Luna. Luna belongs to the Levinson family. She was adopted as a puppy about four years ago. And the thing that makes Luna so adorable is she smiles. She actually raises her lips up and smiles like a person. So uh, Caleb, our works here at the kennel for us, is going to go and get uh, Luna and bring her up here so you all can see Miss Luna smile. And uh, we'll wrap up the show this week with that. And here she comes, the smiling girl. <laughs> Come here, Luna. Can you show him your big, pretty smile? Can you show him how you smile, Mom? Yes. 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 <laughs> She's like trying to smile, but not at the camera. <laughs> Come on, Luna. Give him a smile. Oh, yes. Show him that big, pretty girl smile. Yes, you guys can't really see it, but she, it's really cute how she, uh, she does her little smile. Come on, Luna, you're going to give Oh, me there a she smile? is. Hi, Luna. Can you give her the smile, huh? Isn't she here. amazing? Yeah, she's an IGPR alumni. Did they get to see her? Did she get to see her? She, we're going to hope she smiles for you. Come here, look at me. Can I get a smile? Can I get a smile? She was that pretty girl smile. She wants to go back to that safe room. Yeah, she goes, I, want, I like my hotel room. Hi, Luna. Room. Like okay, now this is another one that this is go to uh, findanotherdog.com because she has a mom and dad. Yeah, she is about her, she's staying with us here at the Benedict. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Caleb, off camera, you can't. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, what? Caleb will get her to smile. Caleb, we'll see if you can get her to smile. Oh, I just sucked hey, him in. Didn't I? You get a smile, big girl. Come on, when Luna. She, when she feels safe, like in a crate or a run or with her people, she smiles. It looks like she's going to eat you, but it's a smile. Yes, she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. Now, this girl, how does she come in? I don't remember how Luna came in. She's been gone. She's three or four years old. Oh, there she's smiling. There she is. Right under in my Caleb. arm. Yeah, under your arm. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining us. And sorry is, for the. Is that it? We're done. Yes, we're done for being. Oh, wait a minute. Now. Oh, Steve's not done. He's got. No, I am done. Say. Sit down. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, everybody. So sorry we're late, man. That that was. Uh, we were working very. Frank John uh, was just going crazy, and he's a networking guy. Yeah. And his network. It was just this computer. So we still have our work cut out for us, and I got a. We got. A, I got a. Finish my opinions on some dogs here. Yeah. Because we're trying to figure out, we won't know today if those two are a bonded pair. What was their name? Uh, Holly and Nelly. Holly and Nelly. Yeah. Holly's a good name, huh? Yeah. Nice job. Any dogs you want to change their name? We're going to change Moon's name. Yes. Yeah, so if you guys have suggestions, yeah. send us some names. Moon's had a, a rough start. I believe he had a rough start since birth from his, from his siblings. There's a possibility of that. So think of some names of a boy. He's either an Akbash or, or an Anatolian mix. Jane thinks he could be Anatolian, probably because your area. Yeah, and the coloring. And the color. He's got light color. Light color, dark. Now mass. his tail's a little shorter, and they don't know what happened. Okay. So, but he does uh, chase his tail in circles, but it's triggered. So, and who was out there? It was Sasha triggered it, I think. But this boy. Um, it was Otis. Otis triggered it. Yeah. But, you know, kind of keep him in your thoughts and stuff. And uh, we've got we to gotta really uh, assess this and finish. Uh, and Caleb's going to start. Uh, on you guys want to come in here? here shortly. And, he, and bring in uh, Murphy. And yeah, come on. Bye. Yeah, there's no more dogs in here. Come on, Murphy. We're we'll bringing Murphy back in because. We can. Murphy, are you going to eat some of your mom's awful treats? <laughs> oh, you're going to force those <laughs> onto him? He took one of Are you going to eat one of those? Did you tell him that treats? the others took them? Did Murphy, you know, it was only three. Three out of 20 purities. Did you eat these? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. he took oh, the yeah. did he eat it? Or is he just okay. looking at it? Okay. If your dog won't take a treat, just throw it on the floor. Yeah. Peer pressure. No, the from, just the yeah, from. Yeah, peer pressure. All right, everybody.
Um, next week. Well, we'll see you next week. See what happens. See what happens. Next week. Hopefully, we Thanks, will everybody. not have trouble, but we're going to try to get this internet fixed tonight. So, all right, there everybody. He is. I'm the camera. There he is. He's the all right, now you get a good look at old, at old Murphy. What was his name here? Jack Black. Jack Black. Hi, yes. hi, Murphy. Yes, because you know he's so dark. I finally got to meet him. <laughs> That's what happens when you let your kid be, name your dog. No. You get a dog named Black oh, who's white. There you go. Oh, got his comment. Oh, Deborah wants to know how to adopt. Oh, you can go on the website, igpr.org, and you will see the adoption application on there, Deborah. You can't adopt if you don't apply. That's right. So, and thank you for the inquiry. Um, so, it looks like you might be in Phoenix. Might be a little long drive. Might be a little far, but there's the there are peer rescues closer to you. Unless you're in Phoenix, Indiana. Yes. I don't never heard of that. I don't think we have a Phoenix, Indiana, but we, we do we have know. we do have Mexico, Indiana, but not Phoenix. Oh, I knew that. Yeah, <laughs> I knew that. Anyway, all right, everybody, we'll get out of here. But now we're just goofy. Yeah. Well, we know that anyway. Right. For a little extra. Everybody. We'll see you next week.